Are we here with Kyle Mullen? Complete game shutout in the Hawks Atlantic 10 opening win over St. Louis on Friday. Kyle, it's your second complete game shutout of the season. Uh, tell us, you know, what it's like out there on the mound, ninth inning, two outs, and and you're just trying to get the game over, but knowing that you've got such a great performance under your belt and trying to finish it out. Yeah, uh, this one feels a little bit better than the one before. Uh, I only won seven innings the one before because the game was uh, was only seven innings. So this one feels a little bit better. First conference game against St. Louis. I'm pretty sure they were the uh, conference champs last year. So, you know, this one feels good, and it, it gets us off to a good start in conference. So. And what's that like? What's the importance of uh, getting off to? <laughs> What's the importance of getting off to such a good start in conference play? <laughs> Is the third year in a row the Hawks have won their first Atlantic 10 game? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we, we were hot in the beginning and then we uh, kind of faded off a little bit, close games that we should have won. And uh, we just needed something to, you know, get us over the hump because we are a good team and we got a lot of chemistry. It's just, you know, we've been struggling a little bit. So it's good to, you know, first conference game to get out here and, you know, take a, take a victory. So How tough was it on such a cold day to stay loose during a couple of those long innings? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, it said 40 degrees, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't too cold. I think it was probably like in the, it felt like 50 maybe, but uh, we had a heater in the dugout, which uh, Skip let us uh, use, which he usually doesn't. So that was good. Uh, and I just stayed kind of by the heater the whole time. So it was good. All right, with Coach Fritz Hamburg, the Hawks, 9 nothing winners over St. Louis in their A-10 opener today. Coach, tell us about the importance of getting off to a good start in conference play, specifically in your first game, specifically against the Atlantic 10 defending champions. Well, I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, we, we want to take every game the same. Uh, it's nice to get the first win. Uh, Kyle really stepped up and pitched a heck of a ball game today, and uh, we really needed that lift because we've been struggling. So. Uh, we did some good things. We've got to still get better in a lot of ways, but uh, it certainly was a, a good way to get started for the weekend. Now you mentioned uh, the struggles of late. Lang 10 play, conference play, it's a clean slate. How do you convey to the team that, you know, while you do need to improve on, on what wasn't going well, that this is an opportunity to start anew and everybody's 0-0 once you start conference play? Well, you know, I don't hammer too much on the fact that you know, it's, they understand it's conference, but at the same time, we got to approach each game, you know, whether it's a Tuesday afternoon game or whether it's, you know, conference. We want to come out with the same approach, you know, execution, those type of things. So, you know, I, you know, obviously we know that the conference maybe matters a little bit more, but in our preparation and in the process, it, it needs to be the same. Uh, you talked about Kyle Mullen, his second complete shutout of the season. Uh, tell us how how it feels just to watch Kyle, his development from a freshman over the summer and his, his fall workout now to see him putting it all together on the mound here this season. Yeah, Kyle's done a great job. He's really made uh, made a nice jump and uh, a lot of connections you know, with uh, the things that we've worked on and the things that he's worked on. I, mean, I give him a lot of credit for what he's done and uh, you know, he's really stepped up. He's, he's answered the challenge and uh, he pitch was, pitches with a very good rhythm. Um, and, and keeps the ball down and stays off the barrel. And, uh, you know, for, for even San Antonio, this may have been his best outing since he's been here at St. Joe. So, very proud of his effort.